Hi, my name is Maurice Huis. I'm also known as Hope of the Future. Today, I'm going to show you my 1-6 scale collection of Terminator figures. I hope you will enjoy it. Here is our The Terminator collection. As you can see, I have two calories Future War version, 1984 version. Both have custom head sculpts. This one is completely custom. This one is a hot toy version. Next to the calories is Sarah Connor, also completely custom one. Not the best, but I have to be honest, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. Here we have the Terminator. So Hot Toys. I really lo love this one. I think this is one of the best Terminator figures done by Hot Toys. Normal version, police station assault. Battle damage version, after the tanker, after, before the tanker explosion, but just when he got to the tanker, I added some flames on the base. Also did a little bit of painting in the neck. Here we have one of the Technoir versions, as you can see it's still a work in progress. I'm still waiting on the shoes that are on the way to me. And I'm missing some hands. Well, I have the hands, but the hand pack is uh, what I'm uh, waiting for. Here's another one, also Technor, the Hardballer, and the Uzi. Here's one I'm also working on with a different head sculpt, custom one, it's a custom head sculpt. Although, what to do is add some black, add some holes from a uh, burning effect as you know when he uh, <clears throat> when they escape from Techno Noir he's running after Kyle and Sarah and they blow up a tank from a car <clears throat> it gives him some burning burn effects I want to add that to the jacket that was my the Terminator Terminator 1 collection I will head over to the Terminator 2 I have a lot of figures of Terminator 2, I really love the thing. movie. Here's the Harley, with the Terminator on it, and the bags. This one is a diorama of the goodbye scene. As you can see, uh, it has batteries, it can light up. Also, a lot of figures can light up, especially in the eyes. In most of the cases, I've removed the batteries to prevent leaking to preserve the figures, so you won't see many uh, figures with lights activated. Here we have the Cyberdyne shootout, the minigun, the Sarah. At Enrique's place. This is from the Cyberdyne Escape. The 3D printed gun. John Connor. Terminator again. Also, Sarah Connor in hospital uh, gear just when escape. She even has the police baton. Perhaps you can show it. Turning it so you can see it. Yes. Frozen T1000. It's still a work in progress. I'm doing some tests with the pants. I have to cut off the hook. But I really like how it's looking already. Some more T1000s. Motorcycle uh, Persona. Police cop with a hole in the head. Pointy finger. As you can see, it's uh, before it's being 
blasted into the molten steel. Upper, part, upper clothes are uh, from the, just the police officer and the pants and the, uh, the pants. Can we see the pants? Or from the motorcycle uh, version. Also, the cybernetic reveal at Dyson's. Shown in the hand, the arm. When he's walking to Cyberdyne with the gas tank and the minigun in the back. Take a look at one. One of my favorites is this Gaston John Connor holding the skull. Hope we can focus on it. With the four stars, the binoculars standing over a destroyed Ando, joined by a dog. Here we have one of my other customs, Sarah. I have two Sarahs, real Sarah, Theo Thousand Sarah. This one's custom, as you can see, I created the whole inner body. Sarah just, a real Sarah just shot through. The back, can't move. Can move down, yes. Uh, miss any one thing? Nope, I don't think I did from T2. So we go over to T2 3D, Terminator 2 Battle 3D Battle Across Time. Custom T70 robot. This is also one of my favorites. Really nice details. The, um, the ammo case on the back. Can turn it more. Because of all the space, the limited space, but as you can see, really nice. Even with the feet. Also has light, light in the eyes, but took the batteries out. Terminator swinging his shotgun like a baseball bat to smash mini hunters. Here you have Sarah and John, still working on John, as you can see his arm is, uh, his hand is missing, one of the head, head, uh, hand packs snapped off, have to uh, be creative with them, but I will give him another hand like this, and he will be holding a satchel charge grenade, still a work in progress, I need to do something about the pants. Here we have Sarah, also in her uh, T2 3D gear, looks a lot like her T2 gear. Miss Kimberly Duncan, also known as Super. As you can see, I it has a Kimberly tag, custom attached. We'll have to turn on that. Cyberland badge gave her a nice custom base. Uh, she's the mixture of the outfits used in the shows in Florida and Los Angeles. So it's a little bit of everything. Like those badges are from Hollywood, the scarf is from Orlando, and this is more a mixture of both. We have a T1000 from the show. Just when he arrives in the future in his motor cop persona, he morphs the hooks to chase our heroes on the motorcycle. Then I have another one down here. It's a bit hard to see because I put it in a display case, took off the top. But the Terminator 
with the mini hunter in the garage scene just uh, when he takes it and uh, is about to smash it into the pillar stop whining also added a little bit of easter egg with another D70 head I hope it will be visible because of the decays reflection there's the mini hunter it's a 3d printed one I'm considering adding another mini hunter flying here Fire, firing a plasma shot still not sure it's not like it happened in the the movie but he also doesn't have the plasma rifle at this point I like to make it more of a diorama with all sorts of things from T2 3D and it won't depict the scene as shown in the movie but it's more a best of very nice di diorama a little rubble okay now we go to Terminator 3 TX in her Hastings outfit when she's at the uh, Edwards uh, Air Force Base you can see the T1 normally the TX is standing here with her pointy finger reprogramming the T1 however I didn't have any more stands anymore for to put her on for this display so I just put her on the threads it's very nice mini hunter I think only 50 were made uh, sorry a T1 unit only 50 were made it has two uh, can do two things I have to look for the button here's one lights lights and the other one I have to do Very neat. Here we have our TX. Both this one and this one are the hot hurt version, except for the head and the body. No, it won't focus. Here's my the ram of the terminator with the coffin I had to be creative with the coffin because it's a very heavy weight when I put it on the hands uh, the arm the figure topples that way so I had to be creative and build a base a graveyard with bullet holes that carries a display of a stand for figures but all the way around and then this one can be carried just like this and it looks like it's carrying the coffin by itself I did add some um, bullets in there Let's zoom in very nice here we have Sergeant uh, Chief Master William Candy didn't make it into the movie this deleted scene it was used in the video game made one to honor him here we have the TX endoskeleton it's fully poseable did some wiring in the hips and the shoulders Really happy with it how it turned out. Another T1 of a Terminatrix. Bit more of a custom, custom head, custom body. Clothes are from a Pop Salute version, which had a terrible figure and head sculpt. Thing 
to the 850s. I have the glasses for this one also somewhere. But of course didn't couldn't find it so quickly for this display. Here's another one. Custom Battle Damage T850. Oh, I forgot to mention one of the things. Even the boots have the chain. You can see it. As the. Can I turn it around? Yes. When the boots have the chains. And here I had a rusty chain. Took it loose as the battle damage. All flesh, blood. Inside, really better than that one. Uh, now we are going from Terminator 3. Oh, I missed my battle endo, battle damage. And the skeleton from Terminator with the Terminator 3 futuristic mini gun, something mini plasma gun. So, salvation. And we have John Connor, of course. Only at this one, John Connor. I have two Hydrobots. T70, T700, sorry, T700 robot, T600, and the skeleton. I have to switch my hands, sorry for the shaky. I made the Irana, T600, T700, T800. To look or walk around it, all have working lights. And we have to walk behind this. Having a hard time walking between the figures without. Accidentally destroying them. Both Marcus versions. Sorry for the bad camera work. Another T600. The T rip. Just about to rip them apart. And these 600 disguised. Did I show this one? The T2. Yeah, I did with the gas can. I'll turn this bit around. You can see a mini gun in the back. Here we have the motorcycle again. I did add the correct license plate. That was Terminator Salvation. Now over to Genesis. Here we have my custom. 1973 Guardian. It's uh, accurate. Even with the, the 
this part. Then we have 984, Guardian. I changed the shotgun with this one. 2017 Guardian. Three Guardians. Different ages. T1000. About to throw a spare. First, he has own liquid metal spare. Still need to fix. The arm, the moment they use some tin foil, they have to get back to fix that one. Sarakana, also custom. Can I move between those? Okay. Focus. Camera won't focus. I have no idea what's the matter. Can try to move in between. My camera is having a very hard time. I see. The T three thousand John Connor. Custom. Another custom working on this future war John Connor. The three D printed gun. Still a lot of modifications to do. This one, Genesis, the Genesis Endo, and here we have 984 Terminator. The try to change the color of the skin because the one I got was really white. Try to add some more brownish. Color, however, still does not match the Fison body. Here's another one I just finished. Go turn him. And Dark Faith. 9088 90, Carl. Just waiting for the sunglasses. He's about to sh sh terminate. Spoiler alert! John Connor. Trying to focus on the gun. Hmm, seems my camera has some issues with focusing on objects nearby. Does this work? Shotgun first used by Carl, later by Sarah Connor. Waiting for the sunglasses, then it is finished. Is that all? Nope, it's not all. I have some more in those. Then I'll stay. Another one with the plasma minigun. And there were two plasma rifles. And then though with one plasma rifle. And then we get to my few Robocop versus the Terminator figures. I have an Ad 209 Fighting 3 and those. 
crushing one with his feet. Another one tries to attack it on top. Left has lost his, his left feet, uh, leg. Another endo is trying to rip out some of the front. I was thinking of making a Robocop versus Terminator diorama. Cross with Robocop. Really like the battle damage one. I plan, I was thinking of, that's the idea, of using this one with a fight with a T-800. I have several head sculpts uh, laying around and just now I have the body just trying to figure out what clothes to use. So this one will be fighting a T-800 in the present. Our present. And it tries to stab him with another spike. It tries to shoot him in the head with the gun. <coughs> and it's already Oops, I don't know why it's focusing on the wrong one. Perhaps if we do it like this, yes. You can see. Does it work? Most people will know it, but... Nope. Fortunately, there's an eye. We can see a human eye in there. But with uh, the current lighting, it is very hard. And... Also part of the... Robocop vs Terminator set is this Endocop. It's a mixture of Robocop and the Endoskeleton. As you can see, it has uh, endo arms, it has thrusters so it can fly. You can take off the thrusters, and if you take a good look, it has the pistons, it has a Robocop helmet, but with an endoskeleton face with all the pistons in it. I think I have shown you all my... Oh, no! No, no, no! I forgot! I forgot! I forgot one little corner. We have the Sarah Connor Chronicles. Here are... Th now let me focus, trying to focus on this one, yes, Cameron Phillips, or in our promo outfit with that bluish purple jacket, Cameron Phillips, and she breaks out Sarah, I have to do this to get the focus. Also, accurate cloning, extra accurate weaponry. And Cromarty. Cromarty just be before he gets his final human skin, his look, his human outfit. When he's going to the blood bank to collect blood bags. In that ice container, how do you call it? Wearing a ski mask, ski goggles. I think it was one of my first customs I did. Wearing very dirty clothes. You've been a bad boy. And I think I've shown you all of my. One six. Oh.